Before we get any further into this review, guys, I want to give a quick shout out to my Twitch channel, which I have just launched. I want to kind of get back into doing more streaming and instead of just always doing it on YouTube, I want to kind of now start doing it on Twitch because it's got like a lot more benefits and like cool features and stuff. So I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video to my Twitch channel. Make sure you go ahead and follow that. And I'm going to be streaming like during most days and stuff like that, during team of the year, during weekends and stuff like that. So yeah, if you want to go and follow that, I'll leave a link to that in the description. And now let's get into this Hernandez player review. Hey guys, look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review and to the guys within the 90 rated prime icon Luis Hernandez who is actually in the second batch of icon swaps um, and I thought that since EA actually really surprisingly didn't release any new SPCs at all today I thought that I'd go and take a look at one of these prime icons one person wanted me to review Sol Campbell prime icon but I couldn't find him for a very good price but I was able to get Hernandez, in my opinion, for a decent price on the market right now. So I thought I'd give him a review and share my opinions on whether I think he's worth picking up or maybe potentially going for through Icon Sub. So he cost me 714,000 coins in the four games that I played him with. He did score me eight goals and get me one assist. And he does also have a freeze to big foot as well as four star skill moves. Moving along to the game stats, his main standout stats are going to be his 91 positioning, his 91 finishing, as well as his 93 agility. And uh, finally, his 89 dribbling. And he did also have the marksman chemistry star applied to to this Luis Hernandez card and I've used him in the previous few FIFAs and I've been impressed with him. I actually did pack his 87 card as well last year which I believe is his um his mid cards, but um, yeah, it does come in at 19 foot swap tokens to be able to unlock this uh, 90 Hernandez card. I do believe there's 24 or 25 um, total uh, swap cards to be able to gain from this. So I think you can actually get Hernandez and like a Bobby Moore or a Frank Rykod at the same time since they're in like five swap tokens. So you can actually get this guy and another icon as well. Uh, do I think he's worth going for? Listen, at the end of the day, all the icons that are available for icon swaps, the decent cards, the very, very usable. Obviously, some of them are better value for your tokens than others, for example. Obviously, like the, the mid icon pack, I wouldn't really say, you know, you should really go with that one. Um, but I think Hananas for 19 tokens, whilst it is the majority of your tokens, you're getting yourself a really, really good prime icon striker who's got, in my opinion, all the best stats that you would want from a striker. He's got pace, he's got good finishing, he's got good dribbling. Yes, maybe his weak foot at three star isn't necessarily the best. Maybe he does lack a little bit strength but overall he does look a really really fun and durable card and to be quite honest in terms of how I found him to be in division rivals I was impressed with him I mean, eight goals and one assist in the four games that's a fantastic return for me his first pro will be his finishing for his finishing was absolutely quality 91 positioning and 91 finishing that marks from Kemsal takes his positioning up to 95 and it also takes his finishing up to 99 which is superb also his shot power goes into the low 90s as well which is fantastic and you just look at the shooting stats and you know, there isn't one problem to his shooting stats at all. They are absolutely fantastic. The nest shots are really good. I'll be quite honest, I don't really recall him from scoring from outside of the box. Don't get me wrong, I think his shot power is very good, but I don't think his long shots are necessarily the best part to his game. I think he's a lot more deadly from inside the box. I think that's where, you know, you get a chance inside the box. The chances are, at worst, it's going to be hitting the target, but more often than not, it will be the keeper because of how good his shot power is. But from long distance, he may be not necessarily the best compared to some other players, but yeah, his finishing all around, though, is very, very impressive. His second pro as well will also be his dribbling four star skill is good for a strike he's got 93 agility 85 balance um really high dribbling and ball control as well and a lot of those stats are increased very nicely once again the marks from chem style for example his agility goes up to 97 his ball control goes to 92 his dribbling as well goes to 93 which is fantastic he feels so smooth on the ball honestly he feels like a joy to use he, he reminds me a lot of the um the prime icon del piero that i used back in fifa 18 i used that card a lot and i really really loved him i used him like a mixture between striker and cam obviously the 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 better thing about the prime icon Del Piero back in like FIFA 18 was that he obviously had much better passing than, than Hernandez but in terms of like you know they still feel very similar strikers in terms of like height and stuff like that I don't know why I'm comparing it with Del Piero but that was just a card that I used to love back in FIFA 18 but yeah yeah go, you know going back to what I was saying his finishing his dribbling superb couldn't fold that feels very nice and smooth agile on the ball and obviously the four star skill which as well is also very nice and his final pro as well will also be his pace he is blistering really quick with that 94 acceleration and 91 sprint speed 82 stamina as well is fine for a striker he often beats the defense because of his really good positioning he'll often make really really good runs for you able to make like lobbed uh, pass 
passes or through balls to him, whatever you want. Um, he, he does times, you know, he does times run, runs really, really well to be able to get into one on one chances and stuff. So, uh, or at least make runs down like the wings or whatever. So, um, yeah, on the whole, really good card, very impressive. If there were any maybe slight negatives to him, to be honest, I would give this card maybe a 10 out of 10 because effectively he is a free card that you can earn off the market, which is fantastic. Do I think he's actually worth his price tag of around 700,000 coins? Um, yeah, I, I, I'd probably say that he is. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would like him to be a little bit stronger. Uh, I would like him to have more than three star weak foots. I think it'd be a lot more better if he was a four star or five star because come a few months time, having players with three star weak foots isn't going to be necessarily the greatest thing. It won't be bad at the same time, but having three star weak foots for a striker, you know, as I mentioned, it's not bad, but also it's not great at the same time. So there's just little slight negatives to him, but there's nothing to major, you know, nothing to put down as a major negative to the cards. I think for his price on the market, he's relatively worth that. I think in terms of icon top tokens, he's 100% worth the 19. Don't get me wrong, there are other awesome players that you can also get, but in terms of a striker, he might be the best striker that you can actually get from this batch of icon tops. He was really, really impressive. Nine goal contributions in four games. I really did enjoy this card. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.